Hey guys, Tomboy61, and today we're going to be talking about Battlefield 5 and a couple of things. One, the brand new trailer, and two, how it's been in the news in the last couple of days and whether it's doomed from the start. So uh, let's just dive on in. Like I said, guys, some a couple of interesting things to talk about with Battlefield 5. First, let's talk let's talk about the new trailer, the company trailer that released uh, just just recently at Gamescom, uh, showing off some of the player customization. And there's a couple of key screenshots I want to show off, just kind of stuff we didn't really know before, but I think is important to see and kind of get get into uh, the the discussion on that sort of stuff. First off. There's going to be a different way we customize in Battlefield 5, and I think it's going to be really cool. First off, let's go ahead and look at the gun customization. Um, right here we can see that on the Sturmgewehr, you can customize the muzzle, the grip, the stock, and the scope. That's a lot of different ways to change up your gun. The most important thing, I think, is the scope, just because that's going to allow players to uh, change around their sight picture and how and let them change the way they prefer it i really like that and the rest of the stuff is going to be a cool visual uh change to the weapon also with player customization it's going to be four different items that you can change around to make your player who your player is your face style your headgear your upper body and your lower body so that's your gun and that's your player but let's also dive into the other part of the gun the actual mechanics now it looks like instead of going the traditional attachment as far as modifying your gun or specializing it, you're instead just going to be essentially putting in skill points into the gun in order to uh, change it around. That's that's the best way I can describe this new system. They gave us the example with the shotgun. You can see here heavy load that that this person has unlocked two tiers for the shotgun and that then the paths diverge. The left hand side is what's selected right now. It's a heavier buckshot with a longer lethal range. On the right hand side, if I had to guess, that looks like it would be a tighter spread. So you can either have longer range or a tighter like hip fire spread. Both of which would be a very good customization for the shotgun. The thing that I found very interesting with this is that these are permanent choices. Uh, so how I understand that the companies are going to work is you basically make a soldier you can customize that soldier however you want. You give them a gun. You can then play with that soldier with that gun to rank up that gun. If you, once you unlock something with that with that character with that gun, that unlock is permanent. So let's say you want to run, you want to have all the customization unlocked for a shotgun. You're gonna have to go one way where you spec all the way going like the left side of this tech tree, and then another side where you tech the entire side on the right hand side. And that's how you're going to unlock all of the attachments, which seems a little weird. And I don't know if I'm 100% okay with it, because um, really that seems a bit stupid. I, I would prefer you just like change up your change up whatever you want in the menus. But hey, whatever. Oh, some other interesting things we saw in this uh, trailer is first off, we finally saw that America is in the game uh, during during the trailer. I don't know if you caught it, but. It was the Axis fighting the Americans during one part of the trailer. Next thing, bayonet charges are back during that bolt action rifle scene. If you look, there's a bayonet. Bayonet charges are going to be back in this game. And the last thing we found out of any consequence is that the opening Tides of War is going to be the fall of Europe. We kind of had figured that out, but it is nice to have some definite confirmation on it. Okay, so that's the company trailer, and we got that out of the way. Now, let's dive into the other part of the game. It's the stuff that's been stirring up the controversy uh, the last couple of days in the Battlefield 5 community. And that's this new story right here. It's uh, accredited to a analyst who is predicting that Battlefield 5 will be a serious disappointment and says pre-orders lag Call of Duty by more than 85%. And... This kind of stirred up a lot of stuff in the in the Battlefield community. Um, a lot of online pundits might have been saying, which has kind of gotten a little too political, and I, uh, I'm not a big fan of it, is that, you know, when the original reveal trailer came out, people were mad that women were in it, and then they're saying, well, and, ba and EA's response to it was, well, if you don't like it, don't pre-order it, or don't buy it, and people seem to have been doing that, and that's one explanation for us. But I wanted to dive into some alternative explanations for this. Now, 
Before we get going, uh, a couple of days later, this man came out, Jeffrey Grubb, saying that the the metrics were wrong and that they were basing it only on Amazon sale charts. But then that was quickly debunked to show off uh, that, in fact, they're using GameStop's bestseller data, which he then revealed that Call of Duty 4 is leading, followed by Fallout 76, followed by Red Dead Redemption 2, which is 46% behind Black Ops 4, and BF5 is somewhere out there, 85% behind Black Ops 4. And this is some this is this is where I find it actually really interesting because this I think shows some really good data and some really interesting data. First off, first off, holy crap, Red Dead is 46% behind Black Ops. That is insane. I would not have guessed that. I would have thought Red Dead would have been right up there with everyone else. But I think this shows that Call of Duty is performing very strongly right now. Black Ops is the bread and butter. It is the premier version of Call of Duty. It is the one that people wait for and that people play for years on. So one thing is Call of Duty might be experiencing a spike in their sales. The other thing that I think uh, may be contributing to Call of Duty's sales numbers here is they've had their beta. Um, in order to get access to the beta, you had to pre-order the game. So there might be a lot of people who who may not be intending to buy the game, but they wanted to try it out because this does represent a very drastic change in the in the franchise from previous Black Ops. You know, this is a this is a very different kind of game. They might have wanted to try it out to figure out if they want to put down their whole sixty bucks. So they went to the GameStop and put it in their five dollars so that they could get a code to go try essentially the demo of the game. It makes complete sense that if you're unsure with with how this franchise is going, you might go and, and pre-order it. That's one that's one kind of like sneaking suspicion I have. And I'd be interested to see come uh come September where Battlefield 5's uh, numbers are because they just announced that they're having that open beta that is they're having that beta that you know you need to have pre-ordered on the consoles for all of Battlefield's previous betas or alphas and betas up to this point have been PC only GameStop not really known for selling to the PC audience uh you know that's Steam's world and that's in in Battlefield's in Battlefield that's origin that's the origin launcher for for EA so i th i think that might be one thing contributing to the sales and once again red dead is 46% behind uh call of duty battlefield 5 85% i think that might be something contributing to it the other thing that i think could be going on here is battlefield hasn't been doing a very good job of marketing this game that reveal trailer wasn't very good it 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 was way too action-packed. It didn't show off the game. The hardcore fans were kind of confused, let down, um, and I th and how they rolled it out was a mess. They gave they gave industry insiders like a three-hour presentation about the game, explaining the the systems, and their trailer said nothing about that. If they're gonna do that, if if they're the trailer needs to show off all the information that is that has been given out and. That's not what their trailer did. Their live event was disappointing for the Battlefield 5 release. And as a result, a lot of people didn't really follow in with Battlefield 5. I have the same crew of friends I've been playing Battlefield with since high school. One of them didn't even know that it was a World War II game. And that is his favorite like time and genre of history. And he had no idea. This previous trailer, the previous trailers we've been getting, I think are doing a lot better job of marketing it. I think they need to push that. They need to show that this game is more than the crazy Michael Bay-esque thing that they showed off uh, for the for the reveal trailer. I think their marketing is letting them down, and that might also be what's contributing to the pre-orders. Now, traditionally, Battlefield doesn't outperform Call of Duty. I'm not. I wasn't expecting it. I think the only time it did outperform Call of Duty in pre-orders was the year Infinite Warfare came out, and that's because people hated Infinite Warfare. It is. I think the most downloaded uh, tri downloaded video on YouTube ever was the reveal trailer for uh, for Infinite Warfare. Um, I think Battlefield One outperformed pre-orders that one year um, because they were such so diametrically opposed. There was such a juxtaposition between those two games that it makes sense that they that that maybe they pre-ordered you know Call of Duty bet wrong going future and battlefield went old and it turned out battlefield 
went the right way, at least as far as the trend's going. Yeah, that is what I think is going on with Battlefield 5. I think, one, the, the Call of Duty audience, much more heavy-centric on the console side, where GameStop's going to get those pre-orders as, as opposed to Battlefield. Battlefield generally has a healthy community on the consoles, but its bread and butter is the PC, and therefore those pre-orders aren't going to get counted at GameStop. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is everything that I wanted to talk about with Battlefield 5. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments because I'm, I'm interested to know what you guys think. My name is Boy 601 I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. If you'd like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.